What's up, YouTube? Big Boss Burns here. Looking at some paperwork of a delivery we got to do. Um, put two trucks on it. $27,000. Um, Bi-weekly paycheck. We're going to go ahead and get this right now. Just checking it out early for my drivers. Make sure my drivers get here, pick it up tomorrow. And uh, we'll, matter of fact, they're gonna want us right now. We'll um, get it done. Oh, we're gonna load early. We'll get it done. Um, get it done tomorrow. See, you can't let one place lock you down. One warehouse would try to lock you down. But it's too many people out here that need you. Home Depot. Write this down, y'all. Home Depot. Lowe's. Lumber One. Pace. Used tire companies. The list goes on and on. Ice companies. It just goes on and on. You got to get out there and allow these folks to know that you're available. It's too many places. It's nothing to make 20000 in two weeks, 40 a month. It's too many places. You got to spread yourself around. That's the reason why I say one truck, just not going to do it. You got to spread yourself around. But one truck will make somebody a nice little income. But it's too many places calling, texting, allowing my live billboard which I told you, your truck is a billboard, allowing my truck billboard calling, saying, are you for hire? It's too many places. You don't have to stick with one company when it comes down to this logistic stuff. You got to go and spread yourself around. It's too many places. I don't have enough trucks. Matter of fact, what I'm working on now is a partnership with other trucks where I can hire them on to my fleet, let them use their trucks, and I'm thinking about a 60-40 deal. I'll get the contracts, you just do the work. Because I don't have enough trucks to do it. Too many places. But what you got to watch out for is some logistic companies, when they hire you, they will allow you to fill out the application for your company. And you got to read the application real closely you would notice that most logistic companies that hire you they'll have another page in the application which is a no compete clause basically saying once we turn you over to these other vendors we don't want you back doing us and getting the business for yourself okay y'all That's not fair because what happens is when those companies change or get upset at that logistic company service, they're basically looking for other people to outbid or to send their bids in to see if you could either compete, beat that other company or offer a better service. So you got to watch that contract when you sign in that no complete clause you know that's if you're gonna be a bandit i'm a bandit in this game and being a bandit in this game no ain't no such thing as loyalty the reason why i say that is because it's enough money out here for everybody but if a logistic company could lock you down or enslave you with your truck or trucks they will do that so you got to be careful with signing that no complete clause because you want to be a free agent able to move and distribute stuff for anybody you choose to amazon they're gonna lock you down they're gonna lock you down they're gonna give you a certain rate 
And what they're going to do is they're going to consume most of your time. Now, their only thing is they don't care about um, your time. They don't care about how much you make. All they care about is their merchandise getting where it needs to be at the time they want it to be there. That's the reason why when you go up in there and you be at the job, you got to let them folks know that if I spend X, Y, Z amount of time with you, then you got to pay for A, B, C that I'm not with you. And y'all come to a happy medium because one truck should be able to make at least 10000 Easy. If you put the right numbers in there. The question is, are you trying to just be an employee? Or are you trying to just be another worker? Or are you trying to build a brand? See, I'm trying to build a brand. And with building a brand, you got to be just as compatible or just as, I don't like using this word, but I'm gonna use it, just as slick. You got to play chess, not checkers. You got to be a monopoly player. You got to be willing to study your receipts and figure out where is this stuff coming from? And if you can cut in to the market and cut another man out because they're cutting you out anyway, but if you can cut another company out, then more power to you. But at the same time, you got to realize that they're going to do you the same way. In their mind, you're just, you're no good until your last mile. So you got to look out for yourself and your company and your brand, your workers. You got to look out for them and know that if I don't do this, it's a possibility that we could be out of work next week. As soon as that supervisor in that warehouse get mad, my paycheck's too high, upset because he don't like you, you're too arrogant or whatever you may call it, guess what? He's going to be looking for other drivers to put in your place, guaranteed. It's about the money, it's about the brand. That's where patience come into play once again. To build a brand, man, you got to put 10 years on that shit. Of course you can make some money before then, whatever, whatever, but that's the kind of mind frame you got to have when you're thinking about astronomical numbers. I think that was the word for that. <laughs> now, we're not trying to get all the work. We're just trying to get the ones that pay the most. I have seen people in this business that's dog tired that have four and five routes, but it's not paying anything. They're doing four and five routes just to make some money. You don't have to do that. You can have three and four routes that pays just as much or gives you more dividends and it gives you more leverage see our problem is we're trying to make everything from one person you can't do that it's going to take a collective of companies to get you to that twenty-seven thousand, or to get you to that 200 or 300 some thousand a year it's going to take different people to partner up with you in order to make that type of money every year or every month. You cannot be single to one operation. You got to be a monopoly. You got to be versatile. You got to be able to take on other contracts. You got to have two or three trucks here, a truck here. You got to have them everywhere. And before you know it, everybody's calling you because they constantly see your trucks on the road moving the game is move game is get as much money as you can from one company and then go and eat off another person's table i heard a person on youtube making a statement saying i'm sticking with them semis them semis they don't fool with the box trucks semis make the most money Probably do. 
depends on how many box trucks you got though um like it or love it the underdogs on top you know it's the crumbs that's at the bottom that a lot of people fail to realize that if you rake them up it becomes a loaf of bread you know i don't care what we're eating as long as it makes the loaf we're still in the same field we're still in the same area it's the game you got to focus on the game if i could be at home or bring my drivers home every day and they're not out of town and one truck could bring ten thousand two can bring twenty yeah, do your math folks I, that's what i'm going to do because one thing about them trucks is uh, your breakdowns are mostly over the highway. Um, if mines break down, I'd rather for it to be in the city limits where I can get to it than to break down on the highway where I got to drive several miles just to find that driver and put them up in a hotel until we get there. So we got to play Monopoly. We got to play this game right. For those of y'all that's tired of that old, that on the road, or if you're tired of that, looking at the dad boy, if you're tired of that, I mean, it's good. But if you're just not for that, there are an ample amount of opportunities here for a day-to-day -day person every day when it comes down to these logistic companies, setting up your day-to-day -day route, just wanting to know, can you deliver this material bill of brand y'all it's a lot of crumbs on the flow 27,000 in two weeks two trucks give me the crumbs